Hey guys, this is Christian. I'm back on YouTube. Today I'll be showing you how to replace your hard drive if it's defective or if you want to go to a bigger hard drive. Uh, most most people that want to upgrade their hard drive or replace it is because the hard drive has gone bad. As for example, as this unit that you see in front of you right now, this is a 20 inch um, HP TouchSmart 300 PC. It's a 20 inch all in one. Um, it's the model number. Uh, Model number 300-1003. Trying to zoom in here for you guys to see. Um, let's see. Okay, I guess that's the best that it's going to zoom in. But I know it's model number 300-0, excuse me, dash 1003. And I'll be basically showing you how to replace your hard drive. Basically, the tool that you will need is a, no, is a regular size flathead screwdriver. So let's go ahead and get started. What you want to do to replace the hard drive is, if you look right right over here, right above the uh, right above the um, the Ethernet port right here, there is one black screw. You want to go ahead and remove that. Okay. I'm gonna try to record this for you guys as clear as possible with one hand recording and the other hand doing the labor <laughs> That's, but this is pretty easy to be honest then what you want to do you want to remove that screw you want to make sure you put it in a safe spot and you don't want to lose that and then what you, if you will notice um, you don't have to remove this uh, the the uh, the support the stand you don't have to remove it out the, out the way it's not necessary what you want to do is this this is actually one entire piece from top to bottom okay so what it's going to do is going to slide slide this to your left. Okay, so basically slide it to your left. Basically snaps out. It comes out loose. And put that on the side. And basically this is your optical drive right here. This is your hard drive right here. The way you uh, the way you release these, this hard drive on this unit is that there's a release um, screw right here, which is basically, I believe you can use a Torx, but I've been, I've used, um, I was able to loosen this up using a um, the same flathead screwdriver that I have. What you want to do is, oops, you want to loosen this up. Uh, let's see here. Once you get it loose, you can kind of like finish the rest. Oh, maybe okay. I've got some pretty big fingers here, so I was gonna say you can reach in and do it by by hand, but Apparently not, but you want to loosen that up, which is this screw right here, and then what you want to do, uh, this metal bracket right here, you grab this, and then what you want to do is you want to push towards you, but also pick it up at the same time, which you will you will feel the the hard drive coming loose. Okay, and then what you oops, what you want to do here. Is basically the hard drive is connected to the SATA cable right here, as you see. Uh, you you will definitely need both hands. One hand is going to have your right hand is going to have to hold the hard drive as you're picking it up, and then the other hand is uh, you want to release the SATA cable, or you can do it this way. I'm going to try to do it with one hand. I'm not sure if I can do this. You can you can release the SATA cable by pushing the uh, the SATA cable away from the hard drive. So you want to push it that way. You want to push up. I don't know if this is going to work, to be honest. Let me see. Yeah, once you loosen up this cable right here, you basically, your hard drive, you just lift up your hard drive and your, your hard drive is free in your hand. And once you loosen up these four screws right here from the hard drive, then the hard drive will loosen up from this metal caddy. This is called the hard drive caddy. It's basically or some people call it a hard drive enclosure as basically it's the enclosure around your hard drive to hold it in place so it doesn't move and rock around and such okay um, which will damage your hard drive in the long run you know vibration and why not so basically once you put the other hard drive in you just have to put in these four screws once you put it in the enclosure you put it you put the hard drive um, enclosure in the same way that I have it right now you first you want to connect the cable here and you want to tighten down the screw on the bottom and then basically you you are all set to be honest and then basically you put the black cover on this just basically snaps on as you see let me back up here you see and then you just put the screw on here 
right right in the same spot and you are good to go and then but just to let you guys know um, anytime you replace a hard drive on any computer you do have to reinstall Windows all over again whether you have Windows 7, Windows 8 uh, you know this unit originally came with Windows 7 um, I mean whatever the whatever unit has whether it's Windows XP, Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 8.1 or even Windows 10 because remember your hard drive is what is the operating system sits on which is Microsoft Windows and then, the, and then you have to do all the Windows updates, reinstall programs, your antivirus program, your malware protection, any registry cleaners, and then any other personal, uh, any other personal um, programs that you use. For example, you know TurboTax or you know Tax Software or business software like Quicken, or uh, excuse me, I mean QuickBooks or Quicken. Uh, as I said, any personal software. So if you guys like my video, and, the, and if this has helped you out in any way. Rather than paying a technician 100 or 200 bucks to replace the hard drive, this is an easy way for you to do it at your home, at your own pace. That way you know it's done right. And uh, if you guys like the video, please hit the like button. That would definitely help me out. Um, if you guys want to comment or have a question, please be, please be my guest in, in, you know, in the section below. And then uh, also subscribe to my channel if you like these type of videos and whatnot. So please let me know. I would definitely appreciate that. And uh, I will see you folks next time. Take care.